Now turning over to Sunday Sunrise Science. Parts of the Great Lakes saw over 60 inches of snow through the Thanksgiving holiday. One place hit hardest was Erie, Pennsylvania. And that's where our fellow Storm Team 10 meteorologist, AJ Mastrangelo, it's where it all started for you. Yeah, you're right, John. And my two years working in Erie, there was not a storm of this magnitude. Buffalo got hit a few times. Well, I got to speak with my former chief regarding this historic storm in Erie. We did see this data, and as we led up to it, we were very uh, cautious about telling people the amount of snow that was possible. It's not only an exact science, it is stressful, because one shift of the wind means that you're going to get 50 inches. Another shift of the wind means Buffalo is going to get 70 inches because their fetch is longer. Kind of at what point into the storm did you think, uh, this may be a historic one at that? Woke up in the morning and pow, there it was. It came overnight. It was no joke. The roads were incredibly rough going to work. We were two inches less of the entire snow total we had last season. And on that day, it was the single highest snowfall in Erie history. How did our changing climate kind of play a role in just how extreme this event was? We had a lake that was seven degrees above normal when this storm hit. Well, the warmer that water is, almost like in a hurricane, gives fuel to these storms. Well, it was great speaking with my good friend John. They actually revised the snow total there in Erie from 36 inches up to 49 inches. And since that interview, well, that was back middle last week. Well, they've had a blizzard warning and more feet of snow falling there. Hoping all my Erie folks are staying warm and safe.